In just a few blocks up and down Adams Avenue, you see them everywhere. There's a cup and saucer outside Kensington Cafe, a frowning fluffy white dog at the corner of Van Dyke Ave, a lighthouse on an ocean bluff. These brightly colored pictures are painted right on the sidewalk, and they're all the work of one man. I'm completely 100% self-taught, and I earn while, you, while I learn. That's what my, my, that was my model. Bernard goes only by his first name because he worries the name Muhammad will scare people off. As you'll hear, his story is in some ways a sad one, but he's also created a trend that is unique to Kensington. He lives far away down in Chula Vista, but he's made his mark on the walkable streets of this wealthy community with his doormat-sized pictures on the sidewalk. This is birthed out of being desperate. The story of the painting starts way back, 40 years ago, when Bernard was in college. His roommates were going door to door, offering to spray paint people's address numbers onto their curbs. Bernard joined them and soon was using the fees to make ends meet between other jobs. A couple of years later, I ended up, I was waiting for a bus and I left the tool kit, if you call it a curb kit, and I left it on the bus stop and and went home, and when I came back to get it, it was gone. Without his spray painting kit, Bernard improvised, taking an old paintbrush and some paint he found in a dumpster and offering to hand paint residents curb numbers. Persons were so terrible, I'd probably charge the people a dollar fifty cents for them. Uh, but then when I earned enough money to get my curb kit back, I became so uh, I became efficient at doing them, and I, I saw an opportunity to charge more and earn more money by offering a hand painted custom sign. It grew from there. One day, someone asked him to paint a palm tree along with his street number. So I said, well, well, I never did any actual painting. And so now I'm thinking art and trying to be creative and I'm having fun with it. Then Bernard scaled up. He knocked on the door of Benny Brunetto, who owns a large stone house on the corner of Adams Avenue and North Talmadge Drive. One day we were at home and we got a knock on the door and um, it was Bernard. And um, he told us that he'd like to uh, paint a picture of our house on the sidewalk. And um, I was a little skeptical because we've never seen this done in our neighborhood. So Bernard told me that um, um, he'll paint it, and if we don't like it, we don't have to pay for it. Bernard began what has now become his method. He sketched the house on paper, then began drawing on a base layer of paint on the sidewalk. I would put the blue sky down first, and, it would, and then I would work on the roof of the house and the, and the frame of the house. I'd come out every hour to see how he was coming along, and I thought to myself, it doesn't look too good, so I don't think I'm going to have to be painting for this painting. But uh, little by little, it really started coming in, and um, I was very uh, happy with the results. From then on, Bernard specialized in painting portraits of homes on the sidewalks in front of the homes. It seems like an odd idea, but he says it fits the neighborhood. There are two-bedroom homes that sell for about a million dollars. So there's a certain client that, that uh, appreciate art. Without Kensington and the type of neighborhood this is, the, the people are walking their dogs, they're jogging, they're, they're, they're strollers with their babies. And he's been welcomed by the neighborhood. His paintings are on city sidewalks, which might technically require a permit, but nobody has complained. Often pulling the neighbors next door out of their homes, that's when I know I got them. Bernard now charges $100 to $500 for a painting and might take a day or more to finish a complicated one. But recently, Bernard has been having some trouble. He's collected money to do a few paintings or touch up his old work and then hasn't shown up for the job. I have a mortgage and sometimes the choice between getting back to uh, folks that already paid and or, or have my electricity turned off. No, and so it's just... And so, the this, here. yes. How much are you going to charge or just come back and, and finish it? I'm going to come by tomorrow. Throw an extra 50 bucks in there, make it a $100 redo which means I will totally redo the whole thing. Bernard's only source of income these days is his painting, but his car is broken down. He's been having family health issues, and he says he may need some help with his business. I'm looking for a, a partner, an artist who, who would like to bring it into other neighborhoods, taking it to the next level. I'm having growing pains here. Bernard didn't have enough paint that day, so he came back later to finish the job. Claire Tregesser, KPBS News.